Aries, welcome to your reading for this week, starting the 11th of August. It's a general reading, so take from it everything that resonates with you and leave anything else behind. I'm using my teacup tarot deck and I will clarify with my time to shine deck as well. So let's get on with your reading. I'll put the cards out first and then we'll have a little chat about them. Okay, these are looking lovely. There we are. So, your overall energy is the Eight of Wands, so expect to get busy. This is the card that says delays are over, lots going on all at once, you juggling lots of different things, all for the best reasons possible. Your help or your hurdle, the five of teacups here, is about you moving on from something. And on the card here, look, she's leaving these three little spilt teacups behind. They are the past. And she's moving forward to something so much better. What do you need to focus on? We have the world card here. And again, this is finishing something. And on the card here, look, she's been right round the world and she's back where she started. And now she's celebrating a job well done and moving on to the next thing. So this is very much finishing something, but then moving on advancement and success. This is looking lovely. How can you help yourself? We've got the Queen of Wands stepping in to help you there. Now, the Queens are authority figures in the deck. The Queen of Wands is absolutely lovely. She personifies self-belief, self-confidence. She truly has unshakable self-confidence because she's had to learn how to. And here she is sharing these qualities with you. Whoops. She can manifest anything she wants when she needs it. And her motto in life is, yes, I can. You just watch me. So embracing the lovely qualities of the Queen of Wands will be very helpful for you this week. Pulling it all together, we've got the Nine of Coins. This is you really enjoying the results of your hard work, taking some time out having some me time. Look, she's having a bubbly bath and a cup of tea all at the same time. It's lovely to work hard, but it's just as important to have a rest as well, to balance the energy. And your final outcome card is lovely. The Ace of Wands. I'm so pleased this has come on the, as the last card because here you are finishing something with these cards and here's your start of something new. I was talking about advancement and success. And the Ace of Wands is exactly that. Opportunity for a fresh new start. Something that you're really excited about. Something that really fills your heart with joy. Something that you've been manifesting and hoping for and the ace of wands brings in that lovely opportunity so you can see it and enjoy it right we'll just get some clarification so wisdom cards these are high energy cards these are major arcana cards in traditional tarot oh that's three of them oh this is lovely right so along with this eight of wands we've got the eight of wisdom two eights now they're lovely that's all about abundance and success the eight of wisdom is the justice card and it says do what you know is the right thing to do so be led by honesty and integrity and fairness and allow those lovely qualities to lead the way the magician comes in next alongside this moving forward to something new and literally the magician says you have everything you need you are ready you can do it so the queen of wands and the magician together is a lovely dose of confidence and self-belief for you just make it a bit lighter there we are the ten of thought comes in this is lovely this is about again something finishing and we were talking about that here 
The ten of thought. This says the situation is improving. Expect things to get better. And this literally says on the card, move on, be happy and enjoy things as they get better. So a much improved situation coming in and that's what you need to focus on. How can you help yourself? This is fantastic. We have got the victory card, six of action, six of wands, literally enjoying the results of your hard work, victory and success. Pulling it all together, we've got the 16 of wisdom. This is the life experience card in traditional tarot. And this is about you making these positive life changes, going after what you want, learning from experience. You've been there, you've done that, you've got the t-shirt. And now you finding the key to your own treasure chest, doing what you love, and loving what you do. And the eight of life, just to finish things off, says, try something new. This ties in beautifully with this ace of wands card. It also says, pay attention to the small details. So when this new opportunity card, or when the actual opportunity shows up, look into it carefully. Read the small print and then read it again. Dot the I's, cross the T's. Be quite meticulous about that. Follow your moral compass. Do what you know is the right thing to do. And looking at your cards overall, this is lovely. This is the week when things get busy. It's definitely a week of you ending something and starting something new, a fresh new start. It's advancement, it's success. With the confidence of the Queen of Wands coming in, we've got the victory card here. We've got the magician coming in and saying, yes, you can. You are ready. So a much improved situation and a fabulous new opportunity coming in for you. So I hope you have a lovely week. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you even more for liking, sharing and subscribing. It's free to do all of those things and it truly does support my channel. So thank you for that as well. So look after yourselves, have a lovely week and I'll see you here again soon.